Hello and welcome to this screencast. This time I'm going to show you how you can deactivate each port on the MyUTN USB device server separately. The benefit to this function is that ports which are not in use can be set so that they don't draw power. This way it prevents users from attaching unwanted USB devices to the device server. To use the port deactivation function, you need to have these software and firmware combinations installed as a minimum. Okay, so these are all the requirements, and now we can look at the configuration. Here on the screen, you see the MyUTN Manager. I've already added a MyUTN 150 device server to the device list. This server has three USB ports, and as you can see, two of these are already occupied by a printer and a scanner. If I want to make sure that no further USB devices can be attached to this server, I can deactivate the third open port. Before I actually deactivate port number three, I'll attach a USB stick to it. This is just for illustration. It will show you that this USB stick really cannot be accessed once the port is deactivated. The USB stick at port number three is now visible in the UTN manager. To deactivate this port, I'll need to go to the MyUTN 150's web interface. I can do this through the UTN manager by right-clicking on the device server and choosing Configure. In order to get to the configuration for port deactivation, I need to click on Device and then click on USB port. On this page we see a table with the three USB ports of the MyUTN 150. In the second column, titled Active, there's a checkbox for each port. I can use this to control the port activation for each port individually. When I go back to the UTN Manager, I can see that the USB stick is no longer available because this port is no longer active. As you can see, all of this is very easy to use. The combination of port deactivation and the USB port access function is also very effective. You can, for example, define that only device X can be attached to port number 1 and that no other device except for device Y may be connected to port number 2. All other attached devices will be denied access to the USB device server. Well, this concludes our screencast about port deactivation. Should you have any comments or questions, just send us an email or give us a call. And I hope to see you at our next screencast.